Michael Pilsner is with us, senior fellow at the Heritage Foundation for China Strategy. Michael, always good to see you. I mean, how is China playing this? They're trying to balance support for Putin, although not completely, not full on. What is Xi's strategy? I think what he's doing here is what the Chinese have been doing for about 30, 30 years. They count on a group of wishful thinking people in our Congress, in our executive branch, uh, in our universities, who have wishful thinking that China's on the good side, uh, that somehow this 12-point peace plan is a good thing. I suspect, and I'm not alone, there's a lot of cynical people who see Chinese deception at work. The, what could be happening is this is a distraction. The peace plan is not really a peace plan at all. Uh, it's quite pro-Russian. Um, and it may, may be the cover for a very significant arms sale that would include drones, uh, armed drones that explode over targets in Ukraine, uh, as well as artillery. And this, what this would do, Eric, is help Putin win his offensive in April, May, June of this year. So obviously the Biden administration doesn't want this, but they have not yet warned China exactly what will your punishment be if you start sending lethal weapons to the, to, to, to the Russians. I hope they do that before it's too late. What should they say? And what would it mean if indeed China does send lethal weapons, such as drones that can explode uh, and kill Ukrainians? Well, the Chinese could change the balance of power. They could give the Russians a second chance to really assault uh, Ukraine deeply, even to Kiev itself. Um, we don't want that. But the problem is, if you just talk about it and say, please don't do this, which is what President Biden's team has done so far, the Chinese don't really know the consequences of doing it. I would suggest, for example, closing the American embassy in Beijing. It's 2,500 staff. It's our largest embassy in the world. Banning, with congressional support, banning all new investment in Chinese uh, technology companies or other parts of China. Extremely serious measures need to be pointed out to the Chinese. Also on Taiwan, that's their most sensitive nerve, Eric. We've just increased, or going to increase the number of American trainers there yet, but we've never sent combat troops or command planners to Taiwan. We could do that. If China thinks, oh my God, we helped the Russians in Ukraine, we begin to turn Taiwan into a bastion, that could make Xi Jinping think twice and not do it. I agree with Zelensky, by the way. You saw yesterday, Zelensky said he wants the Chinese to come to Kiev. He's welcoming some sort of Chinese role, but he's calling them, if you want to be neutral and have a peace agreement, you need to come to Kiev as well. I think Zelensky's right on track. Is, is he calling the uh, calling she's bluff by doing that? Yes, very much. Obviously, when Xi Jinping goes to Moscow to see his ally Putin, that's the time for America, mm. for other countries to say, look, it's only a few hundred miles to go to Kiev. Then you can be the great peacemaker that the friends of China all think, you know, will happen. Obviously, Xi Jinping will not do it, but it'll put him on the spot. Uh, yeah, as you said, the friends think, but uh, those who are more realistic see China's real intent.